Hi, this is Lee with LearningFlee.com. Um, we're going to update our project websites today um, and we're going to add comments to them. So here is my website. But look, one of the videos didn't come up. So I have a mistake, I got a problem, I got to fix it. So, and then we're going to push that, um, get those changes online. Okay, so that's what we're going to accomplish today. Uh, now maybe your website is perfect and you want to change a thing, and that's fine, but uh, I want you to add comments to it today, and then um, you'll have something to change. Okay? So, let's see. First project. That's what we're working on here. So um, open up your index.html and add them. That's what we're using now for our text editor. And you can make any change. Um, if you're having troubles with um, videos and images not showing up like that, um, try uh, removing the dot slash. Dot slash is um, the older way of doing it. Um, I still prefer it. Okay, um, so, but if you don't have any changes to make, you can add comments. Now, why would you add a comment? Um, because when you come back to this, um, you aren't going to remember everything you were thinking when you first wrote the code. Now, right now, you have a pretty simple code, but um, later, you're going to be looking at this and being like, what is this? It's really helpful to have comments saying this section is for this, this section is for that. Um, when I have a lot of divs, I like to, at the closing div, I like to say this closes, you know, the, the list section, this closes the video section um, as a note to myself so I can see where I am on the page. Um, also, if you're going to work with someone else or if someone else is going to use your code in the future, going to pass that project on to someone else, they don't know what you were thinking when you first did it. So you leave comments, okay? For HTML, it looks like this. Um, the like lesson, lesson sign, exclamation point, hyphen, hyphen. It's a little cumbersome. Um, and then you can type your thing. So this is um, this is the lesson list on mine. So lesson list. And then you hit hyphen, hyphen, greater than sign to close it out there. Now one cool thing about using a text editor made for coding, you could see the color change, right? This is all commented out. Okay, wait, now this is, it shows you where the comment is, right? This is gray. Um, so it's easy to see that you haven't closed it yet, right? Because everything was showing up. So like here, I could say end of lesson list, something like that. And then this is, um, you know, lesson videos. Lesson videos and links to lesson websites. Okay, so that's what my website does. You can go um, see the lessons, what were created online, and then you can watch the videos of the lessons. And these jump you down the page to the lesson you want to get to. Okay, so that's all. Just something simple. Leave yourself some notes. And then we need to get it online. We have to make these changes online. So make sure it's saved. There's a little blue dot. Uh, when you change something, the little blue dot's there. That shows you it hasn't been saved. Um, so make sure you get that saved and that dot's gone. Um, if you push it without saving it, it's not going to push your changes because you haven't saved them. Save them first, step one. Okay, then you open up your git bash. You can see it says bash there. Oh, it said it at the top a minute ago. Um, we downloaded something called Git. Git and Bash um, are related. If you see Bash there, it's talking about this type of thing. Um, there's different versions of this type of thing. Okay, so when we're saying things like Git, G-I-T, you know, it's communicating with GitHub, right? You made a GitHub account. When we're doing things like change directory, you're just talking to your computer. This is called command line. Okay, you just there's a line there. We're giving a command to our computer. Change directory. Um, where do I have to save documents? 
Um, so this is, I'm commanding the computer, I'm giving commands to the computer. When I say git something, I'm, I'm communicating with GitHub. Okay, so let's see, oh, I haven't done this one. ls, you can look to see what's in there with ls, to list what's in there. I'm going to change directory, first project. Um, it only, you can add, you can type um, git add space period and hit enter and it will add anything that's been changed. Um, or if you only want, if you made changes in more than one thing but you only want to get online one of those places where you changed, you can just, you know, go ahead and write, you know, um, git add the file that you want to add. Okay, you can type something called git status, G-I-T space, S-T-A-T-U-S status, and it'll say, okay, you modified the index.html file. Okay, so it knows that, and then we commit, we always have to be committed to our changes. I'm going to say I'm really serious about making this change. Um, say added comments, that's my note, oh, add comments, uh, add comments. All right, so there's one file changed. Okay, so now this time we just type git push origin master. There's no you this time. That's just the first time you do it. You put that there. So from now on, whenever you want to make a change, you get into the folder just like before. You um, git add space period is usually all you need to do. And then you commit. Don't forget to commit. Git commit. It'll tell you. If you forget, and it's like you don't haven't committed anything. Git commit with the hyphen M and just make a note. It's a note to yourself, okay? Those comments and the quotation marks you can see on your GitHub account. It'll say, oh, three hours ago you committed something and this is what you did. And you can see those changes on there. Um, maybe we can go look at that. Okay, so add comments. Um, and then I git push origin master, four words. Git push origin master. And we hit enter. Dun, dun, dun. And again, you won't see this immediately on your website. It takes a few minutes to um, update. Dun, dun. Not there yet. Um, those comments will not appear on your website. Right? Um, and I'm just going to pause there. Okay, I paused it there for a second because I was logged into the wrong account. Okay, now I'm logged into the right account. So I'm going to click on first project. Um, and it doesn't have my new commit yet. Oh, yeah, here it is. Add comments. So three minutes ago. And then here's the number of the... Like version of what was just added, um, and so I can click on that, and it shows what was added and subtracted. Okay, so in green is what was it added. So I deleted a line there, but then I added the line. Um, and I added that comment. I added this comment, that comment. Okay, so you can see what you just did. Um, Shows what things have changed. Okay, so you can see that right there. Don't show it up yet. Okay. Anyway, give it some time. Remember to give it some time. Also, a problem is that when you look at it too soon and it's not ready yet, then Chrome like takes a picture of it and caches it. So when you go back to the website, Chrome thinks it's being all helpful and shows you a cached picture of it, a cached version of it, to make it more quickly load on the page. Um, but then you're not seeing the most up-to-date version. So be patient, give it some time, and it will get there. Okay? See you next lesson. Um, remember, you can always read these lessons on my website, learningwithme.com, and um, you can subscribe to both the website and to the YouTube videos um, so you know when new lessons come out. <laughs> All right, see you next lesson.